I'm on a fucking roll today, baby. Woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a how-to series. This is the first video uh, for my how-to series. If you have any recommendations, whether how-to beauty and lifestyle, make sure to drop them in the box down below in the comment section as well as this is week number two of my Starbucks giveaway so I'm so excited for that so the winner for week number one is Gloria Gloria please email me I'll have the information down below and I'll have the full name of the person right here on the screen so congratulations to you and with that being said this video is going to be week numero dos so all you have to do is comment down below your favorite eyeshadow palette or your favorite single eyeshadow if you do not have a palette Please comment that shit down below and you're entered and like again, again, this is going to end a week from today. So today's video is a how to eyeshadow tips and tricks on this look right here on my eyes. Again, I just want to say real quickly that these things work out for me. They do, it does not mean that these things are going to work out for you. So I'm not a makeup artist. This is just a how to series on things that work out for me, things that I like to do, you know, just... I don't know. Check them out and if they work out for you, let me know in the comment section down below. If you do any different techniques, tips or tricks, or to leave them down below in the comment section because we are always open to new ideas. You know what I mean? Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you want to continue to see this how-to series, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up because it helps me a lot. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I'll leave the handles right here. Right here somewhere. You know what I mean? Whew. This coffee has me on a roll, you guys. Like. Starbucks coffee is life, life, it's just fucking life. So yeah guys, I really hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye guys. Alright guys, so we're going to just jump into the video as you guys can see I look pretty darn scary because I have my face beat but I do not have eyeshadow and I do not have lips or highlight and that's because I'm going to be filming a second video so I still don't know which one's going to go up first but I am also going to be filming the Naked Tutorials and Ofra Cosmetics collab. I'm going to be swatching and you know demoing all of that stuff so stay tuned for that video if this one goes up first. Okay, so we are going to be starting off with the eyes and step number one is eyeshadow primer. You want to use an eyeshadow primer or a concealer. Most of the time I use concealer. I recently just um, found a really really good eyeshadow primer but for the most part I use concealer. Concealer will do the job just fine. And why do you want to use an eyeshadow primer? Because an eyeshadow primer is going to help everything blend very very easily. It's just going to set a base for your eyeshadow one and then two it's just going to make um, your eyeshadow last a really really long time so a lot of the times I get questions from my friends for example one of my friends her eyeshadow always creases on her and it like smudges off so the problem with that if you're oily skin like me or if you have oily eyelids you want to make sure that you use an eyeshadow primer or a, a concealer as a base and then this is going to lead us to step number two which I'm going to talk about in a minute but the eyeshadow primer is the first step that you want to use and today I have the eyeshadow primer um, shadow insurance by Too Faced this is just going to help cover any veins any discoloration that you have on your eyelids you know a lot of the times people have black or really like dark eyelids so it's just gonna help you know cover veins as well if you're like really really fair and in general it's just going to make the colors more vibrant and it's just going to make um, blending really really easily so this is just going to create a seamless smooth canvas for your eyeshadow and today we're going to be using the eyeshadow insurance by Too Faced this is the 24 hour plus um, I just blanked out for a minute. This is the 24 hour plus um, shadow primer. So this is supposed to be like an anti-crease. It's water resistant. I mean, it's waterproof. So if you have oily, oily lids, this is going to help it as well. This is going to intensify the color of your shadow as well. And then this is also crease proof, fade proof, and it does not have color. I've been really, really liking this. I recently just tried it. I have tried many other um, eyeshadow primers on the market drugstore and high-end and I find that the next one is super super bad so don't get that one I had such a bad experience with that one you can also use concealer a lot of the times I use concealer most of the times I use concealer I've just recently found this eyeshadow primer which I'm obsessed with so I'm just going to take 
this much for both of my eyes so this much will work you honestly don't need a lot of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe M173 brush, which is my favorite for applying the concealer on my eyelids, but this time it's going to be a eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to apply it on both eyelids. So step number two is to set your eyeshadow uh, primer or to set your concealer in place because this is just going to help the eyeshadows blend on um, blend easily one um, it's not gonna smudge and just application is just going to go on very very seamlessly and smooth so today I'm going to be using the RCMA no color translucent powder you can use a transition shade you use like any like um, champagne tone um, just any like base eyeshadow it doesn't necessarily have to be translucent powder but i like translucent powder so in this case this is my favorite so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to set the eyeshadow primer step number three is going to be using a transition shade of your choice something that fits you perfectly for this time around, um, I decided to go in with the Baked Browns palette by Dose of Colors. I feel like these are perfect for beginners and even for people that, you know, wear makeup on a daily basis. I just feel like this palette is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful everyday palette. And I also have my own, um, my custom Z palette, my mini custom Z palette that I created on my own with my favorite shadows for like an everyday basis. And this is what the palette looks like. So I'm also going to be using this one as well because they're, as you can see, they're both very, very similar in the sense that I love these type of shades. Like these are my type of shades. And this one I've had for quite a while. So if you have been following me for a while, you have seen this in past videos. I did not just create this right now to match it to this one. Um, I've had this for quite a while now. This is my favorite shade for a transition. This is the Cream Brulee by Makeup Geek. What you want to do is pick up quite a generous amount of product and then we're going to tap off the excess because what you want to create is a wash of color on your transition. So this is just going to this is just going to be the color peeking through um, the rest of the colors and you just kind of want um, all of the shadows to look well blended. So this color is just going to help everything look even out you want to start off little by little so you want to gradually intense and build the color you don't want to go in with a really really like deep hand or like a hard hand because then you're gonna make a mess so especially if you're like learning an eyeshadow like I'm still learning so you really want to like take take a little bit and gradually build the color up so we are going to start off so your crease I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is but it's like when you open your eye and you see this like line curve right here it's where you can feel like the bone of your eye like when you can like stick your finger and you can feel like you're poking your eyeball that's where your crease is i don't know i'm like super bad at explaining this shit but you guys know what a crease is okay Like I said, I just go on top of this with like two layers and that's about it. You really want to focus on building the color and, you know, having that color peek through. So as you can see, I filled quite a wash of color there. Really want to take the time to blend. I feel like blending is key. Um, when I take the actual time to blend out my shadows, I feel like everything just looks really, really clean and very seamlessly. Now, when I don't take the time... Um, to blend I feel like everything like just looks messy um, but yeah so same thing with the other eye you just really want to focus it on the outer part and then you want to gradually gradually um, bring it inwards towards the inner part of your eye but very slightly and I also like to grab the brush from very very fine far behind because if I grab it from the front I feel like it's just gonna be too harsh and then I don't like to like go in like this I actually like to go in like this because this way, um, if I go in like this, I'm just going to like poke my eye and you don't want to do that. So you kind of just want to like slant it and get it from like really, really like the tip of the brush, like on the end. I'm like the baddest of explaining shit, but my nose is like so itchy. Ugh. This is just going to help you go in with a much more light hand rather than 
um, going with a harsh hand. So what's good about this um, step is that you can definitely um, build the color. So you don't want to go in with too much color. If you want to have a much more clean, um, clean eyeshadow base, you want to start off with your eyes before your foundation. That way your eyes will look much more cleaner. Um, yeah, I don't know why I started off with my face already, but whatever. This is a step that you can do if you do your foundation first. And this is the Morphe E47 brush. And I also have another one that looks just like this. This is the Morphe M164 brush. And I feel like the Morphe M164 is cheaper than this one by like a dollar or two, but still it's cheaper. Um, what you want to do is spray some Fix Plus. You want to get the brush real, real wet. And then you want to take some translucent powder. Dip your brush in there. And this is just going to help create like a cat eye effect. So you, what you want to do is kind of like stamp it. That way if you go in with darker shades and you have a lot of fallout, this is just going to help make everything look cleaner. A natural hairbrush. So this one's just going to apply eyeshadow in a much more like a sheer wash effect rather than if you go with a synthetic hairbrush with, which is typically black and looks like this. Um, this one's just going to apply color more. It's just going to apply a much more generous amount and it's just going to look more intense. So you want to use something like this. So I'm going to go in with the shade Note to Self which is just a much more a darker shade than my crease shade to kind of build the intensity. These two are very, very similar in the sense that the shade is super, super similar. This is Coco Bear by Makeup Geek, which is a tad bit um, darker. It has hints of brown. And then this one here, which has hints of orange, it's Top Notch by ColourPop. And they're both amazing shades. So I'm going to go in with um, a mix of the two, just like this. And then you want to tab off the excess. And that's it. That's all you need to start off. So same thing. I'm going to concentrate this on my outer V. So I'm going to put it, pack it with the belly of the brush. Packing it with the belly of the brush. And then I'll go back in and blend. <sighs> Jesus came through with the coffee. So we are just going to blend everything with a clean brush. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is like a brown burgundy shade, and see how that one works. I'm kind of scared to dip into this palette because this was not my plan, but oh, it kind of looks purple though. Fuck it. What I want to do is you just want to pack it on the belly. So very, very closer to the lash line is what you want to do. And then same thing to the other eye, super, super close to the lash line. And then just pat it with the belly of the brush. And by the belly of the brush, I mean not, not you don't want to go in like this. You kind of want to go in like this. So you want to rest the brush onto your eye like this. This is just going to help everything um, look well put together. You want to do circular motions and then rocking motions. So circular motions like this, and then you just want to rock it. You know what I mean? You just want to rock, 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 just right there. So I'm not doing windshield wiper motions. Windshield wiper motions would be doing this all the way in here. So rocking motions, it's just rocking it right here, which is what you want to do. You just want to circular and rock it, rock it, rock it. Now we're going to go into the inner part of the eye and the brow bone highlight. So the brow bone highlight, you want it to be like a champagne tone. You don't want it to be, you know, you want it to be like a highlight. So like a champagne tone or something along those lines. Here I have two that are really, really good to me. And I have Nylon by MAC, which is one of my favorites. Um, you want to take just any really, really small, thin eyeliner brush. This is the one I'm going to be using. And I'm just taking Nylon on that brush and kind of in, and kind of putting it on my brow bone. It just so it can kind of give it that pop. Very, very frosty. So it's going to give you that. It's going to give it to you. So I'm going to be taking Let Me Explain by ColourPop in just a shader flat brush 
and we are going to put that on the inner part of the eye. So having an inner corner highlight is just going to make your eyes stand out and it's just going to make them look more awakened and popped and just if you have really small squinty eyes like me this is just going to help your eyes go from this to this you know what i mean can spray your brush if you're using like um if you're using a shimmery shadow which is in this case i am or you can just go ahead and use any um any shadow that does not have shimmer but it's kind of like a champagne tone you can definitely do that i'm gonna go in with this and you just want to pack it on the inner part of your eye I'm going to go back into this brush and I'm going to take that same crease shade and do this all over again on the bottom. We're just connecting the outer V to the part of the eye. And now I'm going to take a much more fluffier brush. This is the E18 by Morphe and I'm just going to buff that color out on my lower lash line go back in with my M168 by Morphe and I'm going to take the darker brown or like the darker red that we use which was I believe was Cocoa Bear and Note to Self and we are just going to concentrate that on the outer V of the eye so we're just not we're not going to bring this one to the inner part of the eye just we're going to meet it halfway I went ahead and put some of the old friend Nikki Tutorials glazed donut in my inner corner as you can see this shit brought the look like to life you know what I mean like all you need is a blinding inner corner highlight and you don't have to go ham like I did like I brought it all the way to the um, to the middle part of my eye you don't have to do that you definitely can just put it on the tear duct and you're good to go like I just I like to be dramatic y'all know me now we are going to put on mascara my favorite part of mascara is the giga black extended play by mac for the lower lashes so if you have problems with your lower uh, mascara no yeah for your lower lashes um budgie like if the mascara on your lower lashes budges and it just like goes like right here to like this part of your eye this one won't do that to you and it's just perfect for that For the top of my lashes, I'm going to go in with my Voluminous Black Carbon Black Mascara by L'Oreal, which is my absolute favorite. And I'm just going to be very, very careful and put this on. Lashes had a sale with their lashes a couple days ago and I bought the Lash Story. Well, this, this actually came in free and then I bought a couple pairs of lashes. So as you can see, I have some to choose from. My favorites are the Iconic House of Lashes, but I kind of want to try something different. Once your lashes are up and ready to go, now you want to mix them in with mascara. So you want to like make them blend with your natural ones. This cola pencil in the shade white. A white eyeliner is just going to brighten up your eye. It's just going to make it um, look more awakened. So that is what I am going to be doing. So this is the final and completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I went to go do my hair because I was looking pretty ratchet. And then I went ahead and put some glow on my freaking elbows. And I put it on my collarbone. And, you know, I had to contour these boobies a little bit because... Y'all already know that I'm boobless. So, anyways, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this how-to video. If you guys have any requests on this how-to series, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below, as well as subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you want me to continue doing this series, then give this video a huge thumbs up. And, yeah, I think that was it, you guys. Um... Make sure to comment in the section down below your favorite eyeshadow palettes. You enter week number two of the Starbucks giveaway. And congratulations to Gloria. Gloria is the winner of week number one. So with that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video very, 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 very soon. Bye, guys.